Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you how to get the This Is Madness achievement in Hearts of Iron 4. First, take Hellenic Armed Forces. Then, place the King under house arrest. Now, use one research slot to get the first two research speed technologies and use the other two to do industry technology, just like how it's shown in these two images on the screen. I would recommend building civilian factories, but you could also build some military factories if you think it's necessary. Then put all of your dockyards on submarines and put all of your military factories onto infantry equipment. Also make sure to trade to get rid of any resource shortages you run into. Then select all of your divisions and put them into one army and assign them a general and a field marshal. Then set up a fallback line on Thessaloniki and the province above it. Now you can start the game. Next, you should take the Hellenic Navy focus. After your first focus completes, you should remove the two support companies on your infantry template. Then you should change all of your divisions to that infantry template. Then take Bring Home the Exiled Republicans next. Then take Compromise with the Monarchists. Then hire the Army Maneuver Genius and the Infantry Expert. Then take Remembering the Anatolian Catastrophe next. Then hire the Military Theorist. Then take Venerate the Ancient Hellens. Now you should train four more infantry divisions and set them to deploy once and give them the highest equipment priority. Then take Theban Warriors next. Make sure to take the second decision on all of the EEE events. Also, you should hire the Resolute Social Democrat and the Devoted Corporatist. Around this time, you should also start upgrading your infantry equipment. Next, you should take the Anatolian Refugees. Now, make sure to not collaborate with the Fascists. Then, take Resurrecting the Megali idea. Now you should invite the original Severs signatories. Now vote I on all of the propositions. Around this time, you should be able to move up to partial mobilization. Then take devaluating the drachma next. Then take utilize our strengths, but watch to see if Romania stops guaranteeing Turkey as sometimes this happens early. Now once the four divisions you are training are deployed, you should put them on your ports in Greece. Then take open foreign subsidized factories next. Right after taking this focus, make sure to improve relations with the Soviets, the Germans, the French, and the British. Then take exporting more luxury commodities next. Next, you should take Gordian Knot, even if Romania is still guaranteeing Turkey. Now your first action in this war should be to join the allies so they can get military access through your land. Then combine your fleet and set it to convoy raid in the Aegean Sea. Once Turkey reaches Thessaloniki, it should be very easy to push them and encircle them until you're able to take Istanbul and cross into the mainland. Once you cross the strait, you should assign all of your divisions to an offensive in Turkey. In the peace deal, you should automatically get what you need to form Greater Greece, but you can take more if you want.
After you've defeated Turkey, you need to take the Nenin Kikaman focus next. Then, once this focus has been completed, you should be able to form Greater Greece and get the achievement. I hope this guide helped, and if it did, why not like and subscribe?